The next step with the three month supine or happy baby position is going from unloaded where your legs are supported to unsupported or loaded breathing, which we'll start now. Uh, before you get into this though, make sure that you're able to get that full abdominal breath 360 degrees without squeezing or going way up into your chest because you're going to need this for this part. All right, so we're going to get back to our position. Butt close to the chair, knees at hip, hips crease. Good. And then from here, if you have your loop band or your core 360 belt, Throw that on now, it's a good idea to do it. If you don't have one yet, use your fingertips here, wrap it around, thumb on the back side, index finger in the front. Remember to breathe low. So we'll get this going here. Remember, small of the back, flat to the ground. So we got our alignment, we're gonna breathe, and next up we're gonna do the C, which is control the position while breathing. So let's go, we got our alignment. Okay, just check and make sure there's no space underneath the back. Now we'll get our breath, take a couple here. Good, I'm feeling expansion into all things, or my two thumbs and my two fingers here. All right, next we're gonna add the C, control. So what we'll do now is we're gonna lift up one leg at a time and see how that changes, if at all, our breathing. What may happen is just by simply lifting the leg up, it changes your ability to stabilize, so meaning your core is contracted, and immediately that can impair your breath, or you may be able to breathe through it. There's no right or wrong answer. It's just being aware of how your breath changes as a result of lifting your legs up. Okay, so first we'll align, breathe, and now we're gonna control it. So the next breath in, I'm gonna lift my left leg up from the hip. So I'm not gonna do this from the knee, I'm gonna lift from the hip here, okay? So here we go. Good, and see if your breath has changed at all. Next breath in, I'm gonna put it down. Now I'm gonna check the right leg. Breathe in. Make sure you're not pushing down hard with the left leg, that means you're cheating. I'm gonna put it down. Good, if you don't feel much change there and you're able to get that same full breath, great. Now we're gonna do both legs. If you can't and you feel a difference there, focus on if one leg made a difference versus another and just practice that alternating back and down where when you breathe in and hold, when you breathe in, lift the leg up and then when you breathe out, bring it back down. All right, so now we're gonna do both legs. So we're gonna start by doing one leg at a time. I'm gonna breathe in. Next breath in, other leg. Good, and see now, has your breath changed? Likely it's gonna be shallower and that's okay because now the core is on automatically. And to take a deeper breath is a lot harder, especially in the hips crease. And so this is gonna start training your core and just this position alone is challenging. However, make sure you're maintaining your alignment. It's very easy here to want to arch. Watch this movement arch where we open up into that scissors position and there's a space underneath my back. When we do that, you're gonna feel the hip flexors and the hip crease here really, really light up. And whenever that happens, that means your hip flexors are, come, are kicking on in to cheat and they're working as your core. We don't want that feeling there. When we stay flat here and keep the legs up, knees about belly button level, we can ensure that we're really using our core ideally. If we're here, that's gonna engage the hip flexors way too much this is gonna light up on you, okay? So a couple ways to know if you're losing that positioning. One, take your hands, flatten them out, keep that pressure in your fingertips, lift those legs up and breathe. Good, another way which I like better is you can take a band. You have to attach it to something though. Here's this band with the kettlebell on it. Watch this here. So I'm gonna take this, slide it underneath the small of the back, push the small of the back down, keep it there, lift the legs up and breathe. You'll know if you're doing it right because the band stays. If you're not and you're starting to cheat, you'll see it snap. 
right? So what's happening there? Either it's a lack of awareness. If it's not and you know you're doing it, you're just getting tired and you're losing form when the band snaps, that is form failure. So anytime you feel like your breath is starting to become shallow or you're getting fatigued, you're feeling it in the hips, or you lose positioning, that's form failure and you want to stop. So typically we want to perform this for about 10 breaths, take a break, that's one set. Repeat that for three sets, do that a couple times a day. But if you're there and you're breathing and you can only get five or so breaths and it starts to get really, really shallow or you start losing positioning, the band snaps, break. You don't want to force it to 10 because ideally what we want to do is do the, the perfect version of this exercise as best you can. And if you start to lose that form or that perfection, just take a break because we're trying to train ideal, not train cheap mechanisms, right? Because that's not what we're trying to do here. We're trying to train your ability to stabilize with quality. And if you're not exactly sure if you're losing your breath, you should be able to feel it's more shallow, but that's where, again, your band or your core 360 belt, you'll be able to feel when you start to lose that breath. And it's really important to be aware of that.